Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we bring you the finals of Grand Master Cup. Power going straight at the Baron. Jose Paolo needs to do it one more time. He's gonna be the only one left. Gonna get hit and OB Citadel is coming in clutch with a one HP comeback. It's the immediate combo that you're gonna see. The Ari takes it down. The Grand Champion of Season Seven Grand Master Cup. Cam Tank Jarvin ready to dive the in. Master. Looking spicy, goes straight to the back line. But actually cast a second time though before saying goodbye here. Jarvin mad and burned instantly, but the center shields proc and the front line gets destroyed. Wow, Yui, Yui, Yui. Oh, this is gonna be a contentious matchup indeed, especially with Rek'Sai just jumping straight to the back. He's gonna go from side to side, wide open. Malzahar is gonna pave the way for Rek'Sai, going straight to the locks, and that's gonna be another one shot. Ari with the final cast does not manage to take out the threat, which is a big boy, Rek'Sai, infinitely stacking double titans. It's looking good, the T-Hex, plus one luck. Unfortunately, the Sejuani gets kicked to the back. That is a huge knockup. Stalls a little bit. Zeri on pause, finds a target, resumes the tempo. A couple more auto attacks, jumping straight to the tail and the splash all the way straight to the back line. Zeri is unbeatable. Where is the Zephyr? Zephyr connects onto the kill. No ramp up for you, my good friend. And it does look like it is. Battle is starting to become problematic for Rumi. Look at that. Zeri, Jose Paolo just free hitting onto the back line. Even the Senna Shield is just too much. Two star Aatrox cannot do a thing. And this four star Tristana is just done and dusted. Jose Paolo wins lobby number one. There you go, Ragent Blue. Ragent GA. Ang Nahana Vito Nanganyang Yaso, which is one of the best items that you could hope for. Nagpawala si Ari ng anyang spell, and there he'll go, Burrato! Anos lahat ng units dito ni Mald 1, is it? And now though Yasuo yeah, so still survives against 5 people, hindi na kinaya. He would go up against the actual Citadel na mayroon na lang 3 HP left. Yu 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 looking very confident right now, but actually well nga pala ang Baron dito. Ari sending out skill yet again. That's gonna be Velvet as well. We're on cutting knock up Dito, but it looks like you have the Bastion at the back line. In case Ante is still pretty Wait. much A-OK. -okay. That's gonna be a lot of firepower going straight at the Baron. But Ngayon, of course, Kenna is still A-OK. -okay. Yui, 3X, still gets that victory and naka double kill pa siya. Enough for him to survive for a next round. All according to plan, as if here Dito Silisandra as well as that Aphelia. Spell Chef, it's not they really will regret enough to stop them actually popping in as well. Apparently, our the staff will not get enough damage. Let's see if it's going this day too. Now, this is a do or die matchup again. UV3X in the middle of everything, literally. But now, let's see. Sino nga ba ang mananalo? That's the auto damage being sent out Ooh. with that Samia, but it's not gonna be enough. Wumi finds the hybrid dinger near the end of the roll down, brings back tilt over that T Hex. It's gonna be some extra HP on the board. Zeri stack, stack, stacking it up. Radiant Rage Blade on fire. Ari with that Radiant Jewel Gauntlet. It's not gonna be enough though. The damage is just crazy and too consistent. Raph one, can he hold on with that 2 HP? against Wumi with a very strong board. He came from 8th in this game and now he's looking to get to the first this part right here. Rafa's his front line is melting in the face of that Zeri. Ari trying her best to deal the damage. There's only one star. She's not going to be able to do it. It's only the Senna left here for Raph 1. And Wumi will be taking first in our fourth game. Yui, Yui, Yui standing in the center of everything. That's not going to help because Lux is just shredding through the front line. The extra mana oh, that wow. you start off with, with the mana front overcharges the whole team. And Jose Paulo kicks out. Yui, one thing I've learned from casting TFT since the very start of my career is it's never over until you miss Zephyr. Zephyr does not connect. Swain gets taken out of the fight only for two seconds. Backline is open, unfortunately, but Swain comes back down into the fight. But it's gonna be too late. The Ari takes it down. It looks like we have a victory. The Grand Champion of Season 7 Grand Master Cup, Jose Paulo.
All right, Jose, you did amazing this tournament, man. Crazy, crazy win out spot. You knew what you were doing from the very beginning, huh? You knew. Yeah, that last game was, I already knew exactly what I wanted to do. And I just needed to pray that the Tarpon Prime was actually useful. Amazing performance for today. I'm sure you made new fans as well. Thank you for sharing some time to hop on interview with us. Did you qualify through the uh, ladder snapshots? Uh, yeah. I did. I'm just here to take the money. <laughs> Alright, congratulations, Jose. You're bringing home 10,000 pesos plus a lot more things oh, listed on the side. 10K? You can. Hell yeah, 10k. Easy money, man. Like, this guy just took your money. He doesn't even need the slot. But crazy, crazy times, Jose. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll catch you later. Peace.